If you want to know whether your cat is a Maine Coon or not, then stay tuned because I'm going to show you all the different ways that you can tell. Every so often we get sent photos of people's cats asking us to tell them whether they have a Maine Coon or not. But it's not always that easy to tell. Strangely, it's a common misconception that all Maine Coons have an M on their forehead. Well, some Maine Coons do. However, did you know that all tabby cats do also? So, let's find the best ways to tell whether your cat is a Maine Coon or not. There are several ways to help determine whether a cat is a Maine Coon or not. Method number one is to take a look at their ears. A Maine Coon's ears are designed to cope with harsh weather conditions. However, after many generations of being domesticated, this requirement could be receding. The ears on a Maine Coon are usually taller than they are wider, and inside the ear, you will notice hairs that sprout and give a lynx-like appearance. The second way we can identify a Maine Coon is with its eyes. A Maine Coon has large eyes that are very expressive. They are wide set and oval shaped. They will have an oblique setting and slant towards the outer base of each ear. You will only see blue eyes on pure white Maine Coons. So, if you have a cat with no white fur at all and its eyes are blue, then it is not a purebred Maine Coon. A Maine Coon's head is not dissimilar to the head of other cats, except that it is slightly longer in length than it is wide, and also it has quite prominent high cheekbones. So if you notice these properties on your cat, then so far so good, and let's see what's next. The next method is the Maine Coon's body shape. A Maine Coon has a long, medium width neck that leads to a muscular, broad chest. The body of a Maine Coon is medium to large and is long and sleek. All body parts are in proportion with no part exaggerated in size and this gives it a well balanced and rectangular appearance. Females are usually smaller than the male and the Maine Coon matures slowly and so often don't reach their full size until they are three or four years old. You don't need me to tell you that Maine Coons are usually quite large in size compared to other breeds. Method number five is to take a look at their paws. A Maine Coon's paws are large, round and well tufted, although some seem to have longer tufts than others. These paws are excellent for walking over snow, although many Maine Coons don't get to test theirs out these days. There are five toes on each front paw and four on each back paw. Occasionally though, Maine Coons can be polydactyl, which is a congenital condition that means they can have extra toes and is really quite cool. Method number six is the tail. A Maine Coon's tail is long. It is wide at the base, but it tapers to a pointed tip, although you'll have to have a gentle squeeze to notice this under all of that fluff. The fur is long and it is flowing along the whole length. The tail is usually about the same length as a cat's body uh, and also can be used as a wrap for extra warmth and protection in cold climates. Just a couple of methods left now, and method seven is about your cat's coat. A Maine Coon's coat is long and shaggy. It is shorter over the shoulders and longer on the stomach. Most Maine Coons have a neck ruff, uh, and on some cats, this is more exaggerated than on others. The coat is silky to the touch. The very final reason is for vocals. A Maine Coon is quite a talkative cat as a rule. It will meow, but it also makes a variety of other noises. Some of these can sound quite high pitched for such a large cat. When a Maine Coon meows at you and you respond by speaking directly to it, it will often meow back and it will feel as if the two of you are having a conversation. Maine Coons seem to have 
particular reasons for meowing though. For instance, if they're, if they're hungry, or if they feel trapped, or feel ignored, or just a general greeting when they walk into a room where you are. And finally, here are some clips of our main Coons talking. Hello, Harry. <laughs> How are you? You okay? Hello, Harry. How are you? What, oh, you got a sore throat? What do you want to do? What, you want to play? You can do, if you want. Yeah? Hungry? Okay. Sure? 